These are 21 epic soccer dribbling drills to improve your skills and help you become the best dribbler you can. And I believe you can become the best dribbler on your team. Check out this video, try the drills for yourself and enjoy the tips to help you improve faster and achieve more. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. So if you're gonna do a double touch, inside, outside, just make sure it is nice and quick and Whenever I'm changing direction, I'm always focusing on that low center of gravity, okay? Pushing off, because that's what this is really beneficial for. It's the cuts between players, between two players, and those sharp changes of direction. The technique of the cut, because a lot of times, especially if you're starting out and I'm trying to go that way, my cut is probably here. So learning to actually bring that ball back into you and make it go where you want with one touch. I will send the better in one day soccer blueprint to anyone who comments hashtag soccer on this video. And you've seen this before, it's these footwork drills. So this is dribbling, yes, but footwork, I think that's foundation. These little touches help you when you're doing more match realistic touches. So start with the little stuff, the taps. I like these touches. These are some of the basics that I always do. The croquetta touch, like an Iniesta touch the cuts, so whether that's one foot cuts, but also bending in these, getting low to the ground, both feet, changes of direction. Okay, single touch. Okay, right foot, Wait. let me go again, cause that's sloppy. Good, so notice the, the technique of the cut, as I said, really overemphasizing, turning the foot, turning the hips when I'm cutting. The thing I want you to think about as far as body movement is actually skipping away while you're making that outside cut. Because I can just take a touch, but if I really want to get good at avoiding tackles, learning to really jump away with that touch is gonna to help me escape more defenders. How many times have you seen Messi dribbling full speed, someone comes to tackle him, just skips out of the way, continues with his dribble. So think about adding that, the low center of gravity on the cuts, bending the knees, not just focusing on your touches, but focusing on control of the body, and then skipping away from tackles. Next one you could do is a inside touch. But again, is that realistic? Go slow to build up your rhythm. But I wanna be going a little quicker each time. And I should be making mistakes every so often, just like that. Because if I'm not, then I'm not challenging myself. You could do the same, but a double touch. You know I do like this one. 
because it's a touch I use all the time. He's lunging for the ball. I take it away from him. If you want to improve faster and achieve more this season, use the Soccer Success Planner. It's 100% free. Players all around the world have already used it to improve. You can download it right now. There's a link in the description below. Okay, then you can do those things moving. So if I just did the first touches, actually going places, whether that's front and back, from different directions. Okay, if you did that croquetta touch, and if you make mistakes, just go again. But actually moving places with these touches, inside outside cut. <clears throat> the next one you could do is a drag back, roll back. But let's try two versions, two touch, one touch. One touch would be, again, like the inside foot. Good skill. Is it realistic? Would you actually dribble like that in a match? No, but good to have that technique. more realistic is probably dragging back from the defender. Good, so I've talked about this before. If I'm doing the skill, if I'm trying to beat him and my touch is there, he's probably sticking down his foot, easy tackle. That's why I want more of that side touch and a skip. Same goes for this inside touch. Again, if I'm touching it here, on top of his foot, he's probably tackling me. But if I'm touching out here, he's not gonna get me. Same for the roll. If I roll it over nice and easy like that, that's easy for him to tackle. If I actually drag it away from him, drag it back into myself, that's much harder for him to get. changes of direction. Something like that. So when you're changing direction, yes, you're focusing on the quality of the touch, but you're also focusing on the quality of the movement, the body control. Okay, so when I make that touch, my upper body can't be here if I want to move, change direction efficiently. I want it to be down here. Because even if I have a bad touch, I'm on top of the ball, I can react quickly. If you're cutting, you're changing direction up here, it's slow, and if you do get a little bit of contact from a defender, he's gonna push you off the ball. So whenever you're turning, changing direction, Think about the sharpness of your touch, yes, but sharpness of your body movement as well. This outside skip touch, but I'm changing feet each time, okay? The reason that's so difficult is because I need really good control of my body, really good balance. 
If I'm trying to do this up here, lunging, just having nice touches, not gonna happen. I have to have really good balance, really bend the knees, quick feet, good rhythm. But this is realistic movement. These are movements that are going to allow you to get away from defenders. practicing attacking a defender. So first one might be something like that. These are all skills you've seen me do a hundred times, but I like efficient skills that actually work. Okay, so when I'm doing these skills, Again, the turn's still there, the forward's still there. Now we're incorporating attacking someone. The timing of the move is extremely important. If I make my move too late, he's gonna tackle me. If I make it too early, he's still gonna be in front of me. So over time, you're gonna find the perfect distance to make this move at. With someone here, I wanna force him to bite. Force him to lunge for the bowl, or force him to shift his body his body control or his body positioning in one direction if i want this space i want to push him that space and if i want that space i want to push him this space okay so when you're practicing this skills are great but let's make it match realistic because if you practice slow you play slow yeah it's good practicing my skills but if I make my move and accelerate with that pace, I'm gonna get tackled every time. So when you make your move, quick change of direction. Really focus on, after I make my move, this step here, boom, try to get away from it a little bit. Because what's gonna happen, if you're too slow, I might shift him. I might force him to go that way. But because I don't get away quickly, now I have to beat him again. Now I have to beat him again and again. And I might have good skill and I might beat him five times, but I haven't gone anywhere with the ball. So focus after you make that move, get away. But I might just set up some balls like this and then freestyle, dribble. Don't stop the ball. Don't stop moving. When you get tired, keep going. If you make a mistake, recover quickly. In and out. Be creative. Dribbling is also about creativity. If you're doing the same pattern every time, you're easy to defend. If you go the same way every time, you're easy to defend. Wait. Have some fun with it. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the online soccer academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.